go straight to the point and let's look at this. What Sam George is saying is that there's some political turgery, some political gangsterism going on. Now we all remember that uh, there is the so-called anti-gay bill awaiting the signature of the president of the Republic of Ghana. My brother, my sister, all of a sudden, Mr. President said, oh, the matter is in court. Some two people have decided to challenge whatever. Therefore, I am waiting for the Supreme Court to deal with the issue so we can deal with this. Then, as if in a do me, do you kind of phenomenon, my brother, my sister, the NDC, the minority in parliament, also decided to go to court using rocks in Dafia Mekpo. And what did he seek to challenge? The vetting of new ministers ahead of the signing of the so-called anti-gay bill. My brother, my sister, many people have seen it as um, um, tit for tat. Do me, I do you. But my brother, my sister, they say it is good for our democracy. Now the Supreme Court decides that, okay, we will deal with the Dafia Mekpo issue first. And once this issue is dealt with first, the parliament may be forced to vet ministers whilst the president's original agenda of, oh, I'm waiting for the Supreme Court to finish up with the challenge in court concerning the so-called anti-gay bill. My brother, my sister, our democracy is at risk. These are the people who are supposed to be dispensing justice to the people. But it looks like there is a certain kind of cherry picking going on. It looks like there is a certain kind of choosing and picking. How is it that this challenge in court over the anti-gay bill has been there long before Dafa Myoko went in there. But the Dafa, the Fia Mekpo issue is going to be handled first. Can we have an explanation? Whatever it is, Mr. President is bent on not signing this bill. And whatever Mr. President will do to run out of this, my brother, my sister, he will. Right now, the whole Ghana has come to realize that Mr. President is not interested in signing this so-called anti-gay bill. And what pains me most is not necessarily about the bill. It's about our sovereignty, our independence. Why is Mr. President refusing to sign the bill? Using all kinds of political jingoisms and gymnastics. Because he wants to keep feeding from off the crumbs of the table of the West. That is the bottom line. When we had that arrogant vice president coming from America, Kamala Harris, and throw her weight all over the country, I felt like I was still in slavery. These people can come to us and make a lot of noise into our ears because we still depend on them for crumbs from off their table. She told us bluntly that she doesn't care what our laws say. She doesn't care what we think. But what she thinks is supreme in her mind. And that is that LGBTQI plus issues are human rights issues. My brother, my sister, need I say anything more? For some time now, our judiciary has been under attack for the so-called unjust dispensation of justice. My brother, my sister, Anas Army Yao Anas was able to give us a tip of the iceberg of the stinking situation when we saw judges taking goats and money to free hardened criminals. Have we been able to weed out all these dirty judges from our judiciary? Have we been able to deal with all the rotting eggs in our judiciary? Today, my brother, my sister, the president is busily appointing 
all the top guns in our judiciary, how can they speak against the president? Our democracy is a joke. The president is the one who appoints the IGP. He is the one who appoints all the top guns at the judiciary. All those who are supposed to be dispensing justice to us. It is Mr. President who appoints them. And most of the time, our leaders in Africa are so corrupt and dangerous. So all these people tend to be in bed with them. Our independence, our so-called sovereignty, nonetheless, is nothing but a joke. Yeah, what let him at him, son.